Hello YouTube watchers, welcome to another exciting video. So hopefully today I get to help you with your vinyl cutter. I've had a few of you ask for some assistance with setting it up. It seems to be a little bit of a problem. Before I start, maybe give you some ideas on how you can troubleshoot this particular cutter. There are a couple of things you need to keep in mind. The first one is that throughout the years, uh, they have, uh, from what I can tell, they seem to have upgraded their software. So what I am showing you today is a certain type of software. Your machine might have been shipped with something different. So the video that you've probably seen about my cutter, you would have heard me say that sometimes I've been having some little issues about getting it to connect. So these ongoing issues, I'm not sure why they're happening or what's going on. Sometimes I've had really good runs when I haven't had to touch the settings for a long time. Sometimes I have to go in and change a few things and play around. And it's not intuitive, it's kind of, yeah, a little bit annoying. So yeah, all right, let's get into it. The software that I'm using is called Sign Master Cut. It is from 2014, so it's now five-year-old software. And like I said, yours probably came shipped with something uh, very similar, very basic uh, in terms of um, contour and uh, vector um, imaging, but it, I, I dare say that some of the settings will be very similar. So let's hope, I, I hope it is for yours. So I'm going to assume that you have plugged that in fine, everything's working in terms of the, it powers on, it connects to your computer, you're hearing the connection noise, that's an important one. So you're hearing the US, when you're using the USB plug, you're hearing the, the little you know, USB connection. Um, without that, I think there might be some other problem that I can't really help you with. So this is, this is the cord that it came with. Um, it's the, you know, it goes into the machine and then you've got a straight USB. It has a couple of, um, of these little, what are they called? I don't know what they're called, but yeah. So um, I've, I will just say, make sure you're using the correct cord because you get a lot of cords with this sort of, you know, that sort of plug, but it, I'm not quite sure whether it will always work. So definitely do that. It's possible that your PC or laptop or whatever has a faulty USB port, which mine does as well. Sometimes I'm having a little bit of trouble with one of my front ports. So the, the one on the left hand side of my PC works fine, but the one on the right hand side doesn't. So I, I just I'll reiterate make sure that you can hear that USB sound come on when you've plugged in your um, cutter. So um, I'm going to assume that you're at the point where you need to play around with the settings because it's it's uh, you've drawn a picture or you've got a picture of the net or whatever you've got a vector diagram you've selected it and um, it's now ready to go. So the way that this particular software works for me is that you have to send the project to the cutter, the cutter then um, receives it and you can turn off your computer or whatever I think afterwards and it will automatically keep cutting until it's finished. So it's just like a normal printer. So here's what the settings looks like. Um, I'll put it up on the screen. And you can see that on mine it's called uh, Jinka JK721 number two. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, it's it's the model. The 721 is the model on mine, so it's um, it, it aligns. But it has been times when I've had to play around with that as well. I'm not going to install software right now, but there's actually three JK721s on my settings, and sometimes it helps to play around with those. So again, reiterating, on my software there's a connection tab. I'm pretty certain yours will have one as well. So. Okay, so it looks like this, and here is where I've had to play a bit. So, in the current vinyl cutter, you've got the vinyl there, the, the cutter there. Uh, I can't give you any more um, details about you know what your model might be or what, what will work with your model. But the part that I've had to play a lot with is the port type. So, on the second one, you need a connection method. You've got port type, and you can see that right now it says direct COM port. So, and it's not a COM port. Again, underneath, you've got a USB port and you've got a Windows port. So, I, for whatever reason, even though it's plugged in via the USB port, I had to choose COM port. And then, down underneath, on the settings section, uh, you can see that it's got COM4 at the moment. It says not connected because my, my um, machine is not connected to the computer. But, that COM4, in the past, I've had to have it on COM2 or COM1. I've had to change around the settings 
in there until it, uh, it, it got working. And now, it's purely trial and error. You just try a different COM port. So, it's possible that it's somehow connecting through a COM port or a, so, uh, like a virtual COM port is what I'm assuming rather than USB port. So yeah, just try that. And uh, in terms of your model, I'm sorry I can't help you there, but uh, you know, go on the net, have a look. There's gonna be people who troubleshoot on forums. Uh, I've Hmm, I, I think I was pretty lucky that I was able to get to a solution fairly quickly. So Sun Master Cut is great for very basic vector vert work. Like uh, I've shown you some of the stickers I've made in the past. There, it's great for that sort of basic things. But if, as soon as you want to start to get into something a bit more creative, a bit more out of the box, like even even things like curved font and stuff like that, it's it do, it's doesn't like that. So um, it's great for a little beginner. Uh, muck around, but uh, if you're looking for something a bit more professional or something that can, you know, uh, give you a few more options, you need to get away from Sun um, Sun Master Cut and get into uh, a much better, much better type of software. Okay, well, I'm. I hope I've helped you in some little way to getting yours started. Anything else in terms of actually using Sun Master Cut, I can maybe make some videos, but I'm, I'm sure you'll find things on the internet already but uh, yeah if, you know, if you've got some specific questions I'll still keep uploading and I'll, um, I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can so I'm hoping that got you rolling and that uh, yeah you can start enjoying your machine and um, start making some cool stuff